Hello and welcome to Pokesports, a competitive Pokemon podcast. I'm Mike and I play with two Pokemon on the field. I'm Kevin. We're going to play a lot of games today. Yeah, we're playing so many games. Yay, it's games. games day. Games, we love games. games. Uh, folks, today is going to be a great day because we are celebrating the release of Pokemon TCG Pocket. That's that's what this is. <laughs> Congrats. I wish. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. We are celebrating the uh, upgrade of Pokemon Sleep. Ooh. That's what's going on. We decided, you know what? I love sleep and I love the fact that now I can get back to it in a super seamless way. We'll talk about how. Uh, and let's play some games at one in the morning because that's when we. Re- <laughs> that's game time. Yeah, yeah game, game time. time. Game time. Fun, fun time. Slow it's, week. It's game time. Slow week. Uh, folks, Pokemon TCG Pocket has soft launched for us when we recorded this, and then they usually re- uh, release it within like what twenty four hours after that, right? Um, no, I think this is like very in advance. Oh, I think no, nah, yeah, our official release date is somewhere in October, unfortunately. Oh. So New Zealand is having a great time with their TCG Pocket. Yeah, they're they're just having a lot of fun over there. Wow. A little sad about it but. would be a nice time to go to new zealand i suppose yeah i mean they had it they had it uh demoing at pokemon world so and from what yeah. i've seen other people like recording and playing it seems like fun it seems like another game where you're just gonna wake up every day turn it on swipe something and get a free gotcha thing and then eventually after a couple of gotcha things and a couple of hundreds of dollars that you spend into those gotcha things to complete oh, a full no. deck you can play you know mini tcg against other people online that's cool yeah i like that you like there's an actual game element in there right yeah yeah, yeah. no yeah you can and it, there is multiplayer and game em- game element there the i don't know if you're only allowed to use pokemon that you've unlocked through packs i don't know if they're gonna have decks for you i don't know if you can scan a card that you had already and use that i don't know beats me you know who probably can tell you is new zealand Yes, yes. Let me call my 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 brother in New Zealand. Hello, Frodo. Hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, Kevin. <laughs> it's good to good to hear from you. Is that your New Zealand accent? I hope not. <laughs> that's that's his fryer accent. Uh, try it again. Brr, 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 brr. Try what again? That's the call. That's the clearly that's the that's the Am I answering tone. the phone? Am I my brother? I guess. No, you're you're calling and then the ringtone uh-huh. stopped. So I guess the person on the the other end would say something first. So yeah. brr, 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 brr. hello. Hey, um, how's the game? It's good. I'm in New Zealand. <laughs> wow, thanks. Who is this? <laughs> you know. Brother Kevin. Brother Kevin? Yep. From from America. Uh-huh. The other wow. side. Hey, What's when it is like a- over there right now? Um, less good because we don't have Pokemon Pocket. Oh, well, I'll tell you. It is the best game I've ever played. This I is an unfair advantage. Pack. <laughs> you, yeah, that's all you can collect. The this is an unfair advantage though. If we're gonna if we're gonna think about this, because oh, yeah. people in New Zealand are gonna have full decks before I can. Well, that's so not fair. Get your wallet ready. I think that's <laughs> what <laughs> that's what Pokemon is trying to tell you with this. Let's see, Pokemon Pocket NA release. What happened to global releases? October thirtieth, twenty twenty four. Dude, that's a month. They get thirty whole packs. That's not fair. They get a whole deck before I get a pack. Wow. Wow. We're all going to be competing with New Zealand. I guess New Zealand is now the enemy. Hi, Kevin. It's, uh, is that you? (laughs) It's, is that you? Yes, it is me, American Kevin. I'm better than you. No! Ah, and Ah. scene. (laughs) <laughs> wow okay well hey pokemon tcg pocket yeah not not the best foot to start on you're Jeez. i got my eye on you unless you do the unite thing and you release it in canada next before the uh 
before the Americas, that's that'd be fine. Then why can't they just they release it globally? Do you think content creators that want to make content out of Pokemon Pocket are currently buying think... New Zealand cell phones? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think uh, anybody is going to be making content over. No, 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 that's not true. Never there, say I, never. I, I bet you. The, ne- I bet October you 31st, people. this will be a TCG Pocket podcast. Let me I, tell you. <laughs> so true. I am going to look up right now, but I bet you there are people who uh, Absolutely. Have, made a, have made videos out of pokemon smile oh absolutely within the last two weeks okay you could you could filter for those i i'm gonna do that actually i'm gonna look just this week i still have yet to play that game what i've never played smile yeah you've never played pokemon smile no i I left that one to you this week yeah sorry about that um it is a great game and if you have a kid uh it is great for getting them to brush their teeth <laughs> it it's wild how like a mirror isn't enough like you need them to be on camera for them to want to want to brush their teeth so there's no camera content filters. creator that has a pokemon smile not video in the last out. week guys is there's a niche un- open yeah there's- is this an untapped market do you want to be the best pokemon go pokemon sleep pokemon teeth What's it called? <laughs> Pokemon. What's Pokemon this game Go. called? Pokemon Sleep. Pokemon Teeth. <laughs> Pokemon Smile. Do you guys want to be the best Smile Pokemon player ever? <laughs> smile Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, yes, you can absolutely catch some of them. That's the slogan. Gotta catch some of them. Gotta oh, not catch cavities. I think there's like a good handful of the 150 that you can you can make your friends. What they should have done was have like decaying Pokemon be available through Pokemon's smile only. A smile only Pokemon? No, like decay. Like just have decaying Pikachu, decaying oh. Diglett, decaying so, Pidgey. So like how... Pokemon Go has Shadow Pokemon and Purified yes. Pokemon. I want Decaying Pokemon. Decaying Pokemon and Calcify. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of I Rattata, we have Tartar Charmander. Oh no. Calcified Charmander. Oh, uh, my Oddish has Gingivitis. <laughs> Gingivitis. <laughs> 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 Gingivodish. Gingivodish is great. Uh oh, there's the Pokemon Sleep official playlist is now available to listen to on Spotify. You can go and listen to the Pokemon Sleep playlist. Pokemon Sleep released a new a new area. Okay, so there has been a new area since the last time we both played that sure. I haven't visited yet, but that exists. But they also released another new area or an area that's coming out soon. It's the power plant. Ooh. You get electric Pokemon over there. You get things like Shinx and stuff. You get Fun time. Like Voltorb. Probably. Maybe buzz, if you're buzz, good, buzz. you can get a Zapdos. Who knows? That's where the Zapdos lives. What is? Do you think it likes it over there, Zapdos? The yeah. It, the power it, plant? I mean, why else would it stay there? It's not forced to. Yeah, that's true. Do you think that... Um, Articuno likes the cave? No, see, that's the thing is like, I don't think Articuno wants to be there. It's a bird in a cave. I think it got in there accidentally and it just did the bird thing and like didn't know how to escape. Where does Moltres live? Why? Um, why? Uh, slipping my mind. Victory Road. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. I, I think that was, yes, because that's the one where like you, you reach the end and instead of turning right, you turn left and then. You do a little strength puzzle. Oh, okay. And you get Moltres there. O- officially, it's called Mount Blaze. But Whatever. Yes. Oh, wait, that's in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. No one cares about that. Uh, in <laughs> Kanto. You just angered a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Where to get Moltres in Kanto? 
was I'm pretty confident it was Victor Wood. I hope Click I'm right. right to go to Sevy one two three and you are done in on oh, what is this? What is the Sevy Isles? It's been so long since I played Canto, guys. I am just gonna go to Bulbapedia while you're doing that, and I'm gonna go to game locations. There it is. Yeah, it's Victory Red Road Boy towards Victory the end. Road. You're right. There you go. There you go. I know. A thing I could have just believed Mike one. this whole time. Huh? I could have just believed you this whole time. You could have believed you. And I said ignorance. no. Yeah. Mike doesn't even know what grassy terrain and um, psychic noise have in common. You know. Grassy that was terrain. something from two podcasts ago. You don't even remember. Grassy terrain. I did. I. And psychic. I have. Noise. Oh yeah. Because psychic noise turns heals. off healing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and grassy terrain heals. So yeah. we, I did. We didn't know if it would stop that. Right. Um. This is proof we live in a simulation because later that week, that same week, yeah, I encountered that interaction in a video and I learned that it does, in fact, prevent it. Wow. <laughs> simulation theory. You've done it. I proved it. It is okay. proof. So let's let's move on, right? Yeah, before we don't the... have time for the games. Yeah, we need time for the <laughs> games. Uh, Grand Challenge 1 happened over the past weekend, and for all those who went and competed, good job. You've contributed Yay. to esports, and I love you for that. Thank you. Grand Challenge 1 happened, and uh, it seemed like it was a good time. You know, there were a lot of people who streamed it out there. I, I know uh, Nino did. I, I watched mm -hmm. a little bit of that. Um, we have the winner here is uh, Nails OU on X. Uh, he says, I won the first ever Grand Challenge. My record was 30 and 3 overall, 13 and 0 today, which I guess was the last day. Mm -hmm. uh, team report uh, is getting recorded tonight or tomorrow. I should drop relatively soon. And it'll be on Adi's channel. He went in with an Incineroar, Dragapult, Porygon 2, Amoongus, Sneasler, and Ursa Luna. How do you feel about that? That's a good team. That's a tanky that's a, team. It's a dang good team. I'm happy that it's not a cheese team, because typically mm. cheese teams do well in this, where you'll you'll go like coaching Annihilate with a, a normal Terra population bomb mouse hold. You just turn the rolls around and go that way. Population but you know, bomb mouse hold with a normal Terra Annihilate. No, no, no. Um, coaching Annihilate. Coaching with Annihilate. a normal Terra mouse hold going for population bomb. Oh, so okay. instead of beating up, you you just do it the uh, other way. <laughs> <laughs> so you power up the mouse hold and then you you super population bomb. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so you do like a scarfed ape, or if you don't even feel like going for a scarfed coach, you can just go for final gambit and then get rid of the sure. one that the population bomb can KO. Because it, as it turns out, that final gambit is still a pretty dang good move. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised to see Dragapult uh, was on the team. That yeah. Was. I mean, like it is the fastest thing in the meta, so I guess that makes yeah. a little bit of sense. Um, Ghost Terra Dragapult is still very good right now. It mm -hmm. deals with Golden Goes relatively well. Golden Go doesn't really want to stand in front of a Dragapult that's going for Terra Ghost Terra Blast in front of it. Right. Sneasler's popping off, too. Sneasler's just an overall great Pokemon right now. Dire Claw. Uh, Sneasler's finally in a good speed tier, one. And Dire Claw is just so cheesy sometimes. <laughs> just like, okay, yeah. here's a strong move that might also sleep you. Let's here's a strong gambling. move that might cut your speed in half. And then they have that, that like whole trick room package in there with like the Among Us, Porygon, the Ensign, and the Ursaluna. Right. Where just sometimes that works. Yeah. You know, they're they're a little too fast. You need to slow them down. Toss that up. Or if they're not fast enough, send out Dragapult. And Porygon 2 is really, really uh, showing up right now too as like a trick room setter or just like as a defensive Pokemon. Right. Because again... No restricteds are around to really one shot it anymore, and typically it can live even like double ups into this thing. It mm. this thing is too tanky right now, and that always does happen with Porygon too. Yeah, it's like we always forget it happens, but it always yeah. happens. Leave it to the person uh, labeled Nails OU to know that Porygon two is good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like this this exact thing happened with Dragapult and Porygon two actually in. Uh, Sword and Shield. 
Mm-hmm. Like we'd we'd see it pop up every now and then. We'd be like, oh yeah, Porygon 2's here. Oh, we can't take it down. Mm-hmm. And we didn't have sneez, sneez, yeah, Sneezler back now then. it can be Poison Terror or Ghost Terror, and then we still can't even close combat it anymore. Exactly. Uh, we don't have usage stats for this one, do we? No, not yet. No, we don't have usage stats for this one. But once we do, I want to find out what those Pokemon yeah. are. But today, I want to play games. They usually release the usage stats a couple days on Pokemon Home, but they just haven't right. yet. Right. So we're going to play two games today. <gasps> Game. Two games. Both are games that we've played on the podcast before. Uh, I don't know if we've named this one in particular, but this is a game where we're going to be playing Pokemon Cries. Oh. And we're going to be guessing what those Pokemon, Pokemon Cries Sports are. Cries. Poke Sports Cries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tears of a... Something. A Michael. Uh, tears of a Michael. Sure. Uh, so we're... I, I guess we can go... Well, this is a team game, right? Like, yeah, yeah, we're on the same team. We're trying we're to help team. each other. Yeah. We, what generation we're going to do is the question. Let's do two different generations. Uh, so we'll do these 10 twice. <clears throat> uh, which generation would you like to start with? We have one Ooh, through That's nine. a hard question. I think the the only right thing to do is randomize it. Sure. Let me see. Sure. So Kevin's going to put in one through nine in his randomizer. And whatever it comes up with is the generation we're going to go with. And Kevin got. Ooh, noise. Spin. We got. Five. Okay. Generation Gen five. five. Black and white and red all over. Uh, so here we go. We have 10 questions. Uh, each one has four possible Pokemon that it could be. And I will play the cry for us. This is the cry. <sighs> That oh, could yeah. either be Tynamo, Lillipup, Clink, or Axiou. Here it is again. Ooh. To me, that sounds Lillipup. I'm I'm gonna say Lillipup. Very I Lillipup. I think Lillipup. <laughs> yeah, it's like a arf oh, arf. Could be Tynamo. No, it could be a lot of those. Those are a lot of little tiny guys. <laughs> they know what they're doing when they, yeah, when they yeah. put these Pokemon together. That's a tiny anyway, we're guy. Go with Lillipup. Uh, here's the next one. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, I think I know what this is already. Uh, we've got Stoutland, Escavalier, P Dove, and Genesect. That's a P Dove, right? I think that's a P Dove. Yeah. yeah, it's like a. I can't do a right. pigeon. Or a dove. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, question three Lipard, Zebstrika, Cryogonal, or Sawsbuck? Uh, oh, that's. That's, That's Zeb Striker. Striker. Yeah. 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 Okay. I know Zeb Striker is like crazy sounding. Yeah. Those are the ones where like when we say it together, uh, like it's usually right. <laughs> I think. That, that's two people that are slightly confident, which makes a full person confident. <laughs> <laughs> a whole confident person. <laughs> that is that is us in a nutshell. All right. We've got Tepig, Whimsicott, Blitzel, and Simisir. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's so flamboyant. That has to be Simacy, right? Oh, no, no, no. That's not. Dude, I'm so surprised that this isn't. Uh, this what isn't are my options staring again? Staring you in the face. Tepig, Whimsicott, Blitz- Blitzel, and Simacy. Is that Whimsicott? Oh, it's yeah. So Whimsicott. That's, that's very Whimsicott. We have See, been this time Mike was full sound. confident and I was half, I was minuscule confident. There we go. And that's how we get to full confidence. Uh, question five. We've got Simipore, Scrafty, Tortuga, and Patrat. Oh, I'm, I'm, I don't know this one. Simipore, Scrafty, Tortuga, Patrat. It's either Scrafty or Patrat. It's not Patrat. I, I want to say Scrafty. No, it's it's not Tortuga, right? Tortuga would be like a, I don't know, a turtle. You know, probably like another Man. oof. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, yeah, it's between Semipoor and Scrafty for me. I think it could be Semipoor, oh, actually. Because that sounds does sound a little monkey. monkey. Yeah. yeah. Should we go with monkey? Yes, but I'm going to make fun of you if it's Scrafty. Yeah, okay. That's that's fair. Make fun of me <laughs> if it's Scrafty. 
Question six. We've got Golet, Haxorus, Solosis, and Beartic. Solosis. Yeah, it's a hundred percent. The most Solosis. I've never seen something more <laughs> Solosis in my life. Uh, all right, we've got <laughs> question seven. <laughs> Electric, Scrafty again. Uh, Chinchino. Oh, that's not a good sign. And Landorus Incarnate. <laughs> it's definitely not Landorus Incarnate. <laughs> I think it's Landorus. <laughs> well, you know what? I think we've got this one. Is that you said Chinchino was the first one? Yeah, we've got Electric, Scrafty, Chinchino, and Landorus Incarnate. That's Chinchino. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Uh, question eight. We've got Lampent, Caracosta, Cryogonal, and Padrat. We've got re- repeats. Uh, <laughs> Lampent, Caracosta, Cryogonal, and Padrat. This to me is between Caracosta and Cryogonal. Can you? I I, I originally said Caracosta in my brain. Yeah, yeah. I I'm, I think I'm with that you. That sounds very oomph, you know. Oof. All right. Question nine. We got Pignite, Dino, Cottony, and Sazbuck. That's just a that, that's just uh, a noise. Uh, that's so hard. It's, it's, it's just like oh. Tell me what this is. Ah! Like, okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we got Pig Knight, Dino, Cottony, and Sawsbuck. Yeah. Not Cottony. I'm going to say Sawsbuck. Okay. I, I, I'm leaning towards Sawsbuck. I'm leaning Dino, so I'm going to hit Sawsbuck, but I'm going to make fun of you if it's Dino. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> uh, question 10 is Bascu- Basculin. I almost said Basculegion, not a habit. Uh, Basculin, Hydragon, Samurott and Simipore. <laughs> oh no, is that what Simipore is? I think, yeah, that oh, is Simipore. No. Oh no, it's got to be Hydreigen. Scrafty then. That well, one's got to be Scrafty. That other so one's got to be Scrafty. Fun of you. Oh I get no, to be I'm going to make fun of you. Fun of me. All right, uh, question one. We said Lillipop. Answer is Axiu. We suck. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, not not good. First of we all, we both I, I said little pup too. We were like, we were you know, so what? confident yeah, on that's that. That's a one. dog. He says orf orf. Uh, you know, that's dog. Yeah, <laughs> that's no. It's Axie. Here's what little pup is. Same thing. They're the you, same. You thing. can't tell me that's not the same what? sound. <laughs> They're the same noises. <laughs> all right. Uh, <clears throat> question two is P dove. That's right. Question three. It is Zeb Striker. Yeah. Question four is Whimsicott. <laughs> Question five. I said Simi four. It was Scrafty. Scrafty. And here's Simi four. You Pore. suck. <laughs> yep. Well, there that is. was Simi four. <laughs> uh, Question six is so Solosis. It's never the been most Solosis so thing. I'm, I can't believe that is, how Solosis I've... this is. So Solosis. It's Solosis. Uh, <laughs> Question seven was Sinchino, yes. Question eight was Caracosta. Hey, we're the best. Yeah. Question nine. You said was Sazbuck. Uh-huh. It is Dino. Okay. You tell me yeah, I suck now. You suck. Oh no. <laughs> so you know what? If we went with well, let me let me. If we trusted one. each other, we would have been fun. Yeah. So here's here's what Sazbuck is. Uh, and then question ten was semi sir, semi poor. Excuse me. Um. So if we had trusted each other for those those two, we would have gotten nine out of ten. Yeah. We did end up getting seven out of ten. Uh, and the only thing that we missed was the difference between Axiu and Lillipop. Which again, and same thing. <laughs> no different. Nobody can tell me otherwise. Does not sound different at all. Layer them the on top a, of each other. Doesn't change. That is change. hard. Yeah, the fact that they even put those two in the same question is a little right. violent. Yeah, that's. <laughs> you want to do a violence? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so that is uh, cries. That's wah wah call the ambulance it's pokemon time <laughs> that, that's the new name uh we can play that again but i think let's let's break this up let's switch to our other game yes and then we'll come back to pokemon mm-hmm. cries i'll leave my randomizer up 
Yes. So I, I realized earlier and Kevin actually realized this earlier that we've never done a legends Arceus deck set. Yes. Now, I think when that game you, came out, we were on hiatus. Totally. Yeah. When, yeah, there's, there's a good group of people out there who don't understand or don't know what Dexit is, what our game. It's Dexit been a while. Is. Yeah. It's been a long time. Dexit is a game that we love to play here on Poke Sports where we have to guess a Pokemon of a certain generation using only their uh, Pokedex entries. It's called Dexit because, you know, there was that whole thing where they removed a whole bunch of Pokemon from the Pokedex. Uh, and mm. didn't really tell anybody, and everyone just called it Dexit because Brexit was a thing as well. Anyway, that's what the joke is. You're welcome. <laughs> now let's get into it. Our our rules. Our only rule for this. Uh, there are two rules. Our only two rules <clears throat> is that it have to, is uh, it has to be from a certain generation. In this case, it's going to be Legends Arceus. And the second one is it has to be a final evolution. It just gets so. Mm -hmm disgustingly uh hard if you don't choose final evolutions you can pick from any one of the decks entries uh and we get as many choices as we want because whatever we're, yeah. we're not mike picked three i that. picked three we have to guess what we picked exactly all right kevin do you have a uh pokemon ready yes okay uh you want to give me that first dex entry Yes, and I'm going to start off with the Legends Arceus Dex entry. Okay. A tall... Is that tall or tail? No. Oh. A tall, hardy Pokemon with a dazzling appearance. It shrouds itself in flame and battles as if engaged in dance. Truly a sight to behold. Dazzling. It's dazzling. dazzling. It, it's... It, it, Dazzlingly. It sheathes itself in fire. Fire. It dances. Uh, so it's probably not Lilligat, Hisui and Lilligat. No, I don't think I he wants fire. No. Uh, oof. so like right now I'm where I'm at is like, this has got to be a fire type. Give me yes. that next one. I will give you that. Okay. Great. Okay. This is from Shining Pearl. Ooh. It's crown of fire is indicative of its fiery nature. Oh, good. Cool. Great. It is beaten by none in terms of quickness. Quickness. So a fast fire Pokemon. So it's something nimble. I was going to say Rapidash. Am I anywhere close on Rapidash? No. No. Okay. Not but, you know what? It doesn't really dance. It, it's more of a prance. It's a yeah. prancer. It goes on dancer on prancer. Okay. Uh, so it's not Rapidash. Give me one more. Okay. You're probably going to get it with this one. Okay. But from Brilliant Diamond. Yes. It uses a special kind of martial arts involving all its limbs. Its fire never goes out. It, okay. So it uses all of its limbs. I'm thinking, okay. I'm thinking like a monkey. Um, uh, this no, no, is no. a Pokemon. <laughs> this, they, they've described close combat. Yeah. In this <laughs> entry, uh, Crown of Fire, it dances, it's brilliant. It, this is Infernape. I gave you a starter, Mikey, and you it gave took me you a three starter. dexes. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> for real. Okay. Uh, Kevin, are you ready for this one? Yes. Are we allowed okay. to have the decks open? Because I'm going to have the decks open. I absolutely did for the last one. Yes. Oh, okay. Because I don't remember what was in this game. No, I can't expect <laughs> you to. <laughs> Okay, um, let's see, let's see. Ooh, okay, I like this one. Uh, it instinctively sneaks into rocky holes. If it gets sleepy, it steals the nest of a fellow this Pokemon. Oh, of a fellow this Pokemon. Okay, nest. Rocky yes. holes, nests. So it's either a rat or it's a bird. Ooh. Um. Okay, let's see the I next one. I don't have a guess for it yet. <laughs> okay, no worries, no worries. We've got we got two more. While this Pokemon still shoots water from its mouth, hmm. the drastic anatomical difference between it and its prior evolution meant that for a long time, 
no one believed the former evolved from the latter. That's a dex entry? That's a dex entry for this game, for Legends Arceus. What a good dex entry. That's such a good dex entry. Wow. So again, while this Pokemon still shoots So it's water a water its type. Mouth, yeah, yeah. Yes. You're not going to have a grass type shooting water from its mouth. It's a water type that has a nest. Okay. I guess fish could have nests. That's a good point. Okay. okay. It likes holes. It likes rocky holes, yeah. Um, okay. Here's, oh, here's one that gives a little bit more. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, let me let me throw a guess at you. Okay. Is it overquill? It is not overquill. Okay. Never mind. Continue. I never guessed. No worries. This one, <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna count this as a third one. I'm gonna count this as like one plus. Oh, yeah. it, it, so many of these this this pokemon has been around for a very long time so many of these talk about rocky holes <laughs> and like sleeping in caves um let's see it said uh it lives in the gaps of boulders and in holes on the seafloor its suction cups grip prey tightly it's an octillery it's an octillery no, suction cups Dude, every single one of these it's has enough. one thing that's like it instinctively sneaks into rocky holes. It I'm traps I, bows with suction cups on that, oh, I'm looking at it now. That's literally everything. It's everything. <laughs> I'm so surprised that they acknowledge the fact that it doesn't make sense that Octillery evolves from Armoraid. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Do you think it was done intentionally? They were just um, like, you know what? This fish is going to be an octopus now. Super tongue in cheek. Absolutely. Yeah. Or was They're that just, just like, like a fail, a fail in the code? <laughs> <laughs> is this a magic or dragonite situation or like. <laughs> that is a thing, by the way, people. Yeah. That uh, some people think that magic should have originally evolved into into dragonite. Because of the little whiskers. Yeah. Was that it? Yeah, that was it, right? Yeah, there's also that uh, Dratini. Uh, oh, to Gyarados, right? Maybe. Yeah, because it's a big blue snake. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love the crow gunk walk. I'm, I'm just looking at uh, at the at the sprites for, I guess, crow all gunk. the Pokemon that are listed here. Crow gunk's walk is just so nonchalant he is so unserious of a pokemon that i yeah he's he's great all right you want to do one more quick one yes okay. with do its disheveled oh, yeah, white yeah. fur oh, i'm okay. ready you ready mm -hmm. with its disheveled white fur it looks like an embodiment of death heedless <laughs> of its own safety this pokemon attacks its nemesis with a bitter energy so intense it lacerates its own body. A bitter energy so intense. We're not even talking about like Annihilate. <laughs> that sounds like it could be Annihilate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Well, that that's a good one. Keep going. Okay. Um, each has the ability to fool a large group of people simultaneously. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They protect their lair with illusory scenery. That's cool. That's a very cool description for Zoroark. <laughs> cool. Give me, give me one more. Just for fun. Give me one more. Okay, fine, 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 yeah. fine, fine. Stories say that those who tried to catch Zoroark were trapped in an illusion and punished. Seeking to <laughs> ease the burden of their solitude, lonely trainers tell Zoroark to show illusions to them. <laughs> oh, my uh, gosh. Zoroark, can you find me a girlfriend, please? Thanks, I'm, Zoroark. I'm so sorry <laughs> I even asked. About this. I mean, it gets worse if it thinks humans are going to discover its den yeah. Zorak shows them visions to make them wander around endlessly in the woods <laughs> oh no <laughs> okay this Pokemon is messed up that's that's nice uh, alright I've got one more for you okay okay um let's see can you get this in one um even if one of its arms is eaten, it's fine. The Pokemon regenerates quickly and will go right back to normal. Even if one of its arms is eaten, it's fine. Yeah. Even if one of its arms is eaten, that's fine. 
Is that Tangrowth? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was just scrolling like, what has edible arms? Tangro, that's I, the one. I wouldn't believe that its arms are edible. <laughs> certainly not as, as much as like any other Pokemon out there. It's certainly more edible than an Ambipom's arms, I that's think. That's true. An Ambipom's arms are just arms. Yeah. <laughs> But like a Pichu's arms, are those even arms? I think they're just like stubs. Stubs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Pikachu's arms, they're stubs. Raichu's arms are stubs. They probably grow back. That's fine. <laughs> even if even if their arms get eaten. You wouldn't it's even fine. notice. I love that the the uh Pokedex was just like so casual about dropping. Even if it gets eaten, it's fine. Whatever. It's, it's, it's chill. Right. Thanks, Pokedex draped with long vines it resembles a shrub in appearance this would have given it away yeah it swings Every bundles of vines yeah all vine 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 yeah. vine it ensnares prey by extending arms made of vines losing arms to predators doesn't trouble it this thing wants you to eat tangrowth's arms i think <laughs> i think the pokedex actually wants you to eat its arms its arms are made of plants that bind themselves to things they grow right back <laughs> back right away if cut slice <laughs> so it's fine just eat it eat eat its arms just eat it isn't that crazy brilliant diamond shining pearl says eat tangrowth's arms it's good for you <laughs> that's what a 10 year old wrote in their in their yeah. journal yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've heard they have medicinal properties um okay let's head back to uh pokemon cries all right, let's spin a generation. You ready? We're going to do a new generation. Then we're going to do a couple of uh, questions because for the past like three episodes, we've been collecting questions strategically. Um, and now we'll disperse them onto the world. Disperse? Disperse. Yeah, sure. Ooh. That's the word I said. Random wheel ended at nine. Okay. Gen we're nine. going with generation nine. The, the highest fidelity sound of generation we could possibly do all right we should have no excuses for this because we hear we this really should have every no day excuse <laughs> uh all right we've got garganical armor rouge kilowattrel and raging bolt so this has been updated again that's Ooh. garganical armor rouge kilowattrel raging bolt here we go I'm going to say Armor Rouge. I'm the Trick Room player. I think you have to take my word here. I think I do. Yeah. I, okay. <laughs> I would not, not be surprised if we're wrong. It's not a this, rock. I'll say that. Yeah. It's between Armor Rouge and Raging Bolt. I don't think it's Raging Bolt, though. Pretty sure it's Armor Rouge. But I thought Armor Rouge is like a lot deeper. Like a... Wait, isn't Armor Rouge just a fart? <laughs> yeah, right? I think Armor Rouge is just a fart. It just goes like... I, I can't wait to play that at the end. Can you play that again? Hold on. No, no, I can't because I chose Armor oh. Rouge. <laughs> All right. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Next up, we've got Quaxwell, Orthworm, Smoliv, and Great Tusk. Oh, no. Could that be Quaxwell or I could that be Quaxwell? Smoliv? Yeah, that's got to be Water Duck. Yeah, there's bubbles. There's bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. Close your eyes. Think Water Duck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Foley artist did good. Yeah. Uh, Watchroll, Iron Boulder, Wiglet, and Toad Scroll. Okay, can't be Iron Watchful. Boulder, can't be Toad Scroll. Probably Watchroll, yeah. Watchroll, yeah. That's tweet, tweet. It could also be Wiglet, though. Wiglet can kind of make that sound, right? Nope. Can't do it. Weep. <laughs> Weep. Um, Meowscarada, Gimme Ghoul, Okie Dogie, and Cerulege. Oh, it's Meowscarada. Meowscarada, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. We know that one. We uh, chose Glim it as our starter. Yeah. Glimora, Iron Jugulus, Hydrapple, and King Gambit. Okay, not King Gambit. Is this N Hydrapple? It's not Glimora, not King Gambit. And probably not Iron Jugulus. I'm thinking it's Hydrapple. Yeah. Let's go Hydrapple. We don't know. That sounds like five heads. <laughs> Yes, all at once. Uh, question six. Caps a kid, Tinkaton, Arctivax, and Watchroll again. Oh. Uh, oh, no. That was a Wiglet before, wasn't it? Because that's a Watchroll. 
you keep my you know what we could double down and say it's definitely not a watch roll because the last one was a watch roll and this is a capsa kid do you think a cap caps kid is just one head right yeah because scoville and his two heads <laughs> right can we can we do it i'm i, I don't want to be wrong about this watch roll so I, i'm saying let's go with capsa kid if you say so mike yeah i'm gonna make fun of you okay <laughs> Uh, question seven, Crocolore, Rabska, Citadel, and Bramblegast. Oh, I hate when they have solutions in there. Yeah, because this could be Crocolore. This could be Citadel. I don't think oh, it's Oh, wait, hold on. Say that, just play it again. I'm going to say Crocolore. Yeah, it's kind of. He, he has like that, you know, that, that undertone. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to go with it. All right. Question eight. We've got Iron Valiant, Iron Crown, Iron Leaves, and Satoddle. <laughs> okay. At least we knew it wasn't Satoddle. Oh. oh, wait. What? This is Satoddle. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, not thank you. Paradox Mon. It can't be an Iron Valiant, Iron Crown, <laughs> or Iron Leaves. <laughs> Either one of them would, would be metal. Sound, it's kind of like, right? rare. <laughs> I'm a cutie. <laughs> I'm I'm small and round. Uh, Veluza, Espathra, Maridon, and Tinkaton. Hold on. Remind me what Veluza is. <laughs> Vault and Veluza. Oh, the purple fish. Okay, go, go. go. See, see how easy that was? Here we go. <laughs> uh, what were my options again? Veluza, Espathra, Maridon, and Tinkaton. Maridon, right? Do you think? I think Maridon would be like a heck of a lot more epic than that. No, but maybe you're right. It does sound kind of like futuristic, kind of. I I was thinking Espathra, but now that I'm hearing it again, I'm thinking you know. I don't know. That Maridon. sounds like the kind of voice that wants a sandwich. You know. Wait. You're right. That thing wants a sandwich. He wants a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Oh, just looking at the waveform of this next one, I'm. Pretty sure it's gonna be Tandemouse. We've got uh, Iron <laughs> Jugula, <laughs> Iron Jugulus, Tandemouse, Great Tusk, and Quaxley. All right, listen. Tandemouse. Yeah. So when I saw, <laughs> it, like, I can I can use my hands to show what the waveform looked like. Right. We had pop up, pop up. Okay. So Two mouses. Tandemous. Yes. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Finished. Dude, we killed this one. Are we goaded? Not completely. Oh, okay. Uh, question one, we got wrong. Question one, we was garg uh, gar garganical garganical. I will no on that way. Hill. No, no, no. Garganical armor oh. kill watch and raging bolt. I, I stammered on how the pronunciation of garganical. So what? Armor is sound. a fart, isn't it? It was raging bolt. Yeah. yeah. Play armor. It's a fart. I <laughs> Yeah, I know it. I know it's a it. fart. I know it. It's a You're fart. absolutely right. It's a fart. Uh, okay, question two was Quaxwell. We got that. Okay. Question nice. three was Watchroll. We got okay, that. Okay, good. We don't uh, suck. Oh, okay. Wiglet is. Same sound. But Very backwards. similar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, question four. Meowscarada. We got that. Question five. Do you remember what this one was? No. It's hydrapple. No. We got it. Oh, okay. Question six. Yeah, five. Do you remember what we what that sounded like? Capsicid. Capsicid. That was correct. Okay. Question seven. Remember that one? Crocolore. That's right. And we got that right. Nice. Question. What eight. was the other one that was similar to that? Oh, it was Satoddle, and we got Satoddle later. Yeah. That was question eight. That was Satoddle. We got it. Yeah. Uh question nine. You're absolutely right. Was Maridon. What was Espathra? <laughs> mystic, mystic. Very magic. Espathra. <laughs> That's yeah. very. Wheel, wheel, wheel. Wheel. And then question 10. <laughs> That's the most tandem mouse sound that I've ever heard in my life. Like, if I heard that, I would I would uh, run out of my house, call the exterminator. Like, I would. Yeah. That's that's a mouse. It's two of them. Yeah. They have Quaxley in that one, too. What was Quaxley? Me. <laughs> Me, meat bulb. 
Yeah. Well, that was that was cries. We got nine out of ten on that one. If we had just remembered in time before I had pressed the button that Armor Rouge was a fart, we would, we would have went got back on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think we would have uh if if we had uh said, hey, wait, Armor Rouge is a fart, right? We would have definitely not chosen it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the thing about me just playing the same Pokemon over and over. I eventually remember their noises. I'm like, wait, sure. no, I, I remember this one. It was funny. It's a fart. <laughs> it's the you funny got, sound. We got oomph and we got. <laughs> Uh, we're children actually yeah yeah uh so the last thing before we go let's do a couple of questions on spotify and on youtube you can go and type text that is something that people use to read and that is something that we are going to exercise our ability to do uh in that we're going to see what people have been saying. Spotify typically has like the more targeted like questions uh, compared to YouTube, but some people wrote in on YouTube. Um, anyway, let's go with episode 222, the triumphant return of Flamigo. Uh, Fiambleby F- 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 uh, asked, what would you say the best Pikachu clone is competitively? Um, what would you say the best Pikachu clone I feel clone like is? a lot of people, and this isn't being mean to those people, they're all going to say Pachirisu. Sure they are. Because it, it is a world champion. I personally don't think Pachirisu is the best one. I think it's I, nice that they used it. I think it's yeah. nice that Sage and Park did it. And I mentioned this when I when I played a Pachirisu team on the channel. It was it was it was Sajin Park's twenty fourteen sure. team, just rehashed for Regulation H. Reimagined. Um, yeah, uh, Pachirisu had follow me at a time where no one had follow me. Uh-huh. Is why it was good. Your follow me users at the time were Lucario and Ferret. Like, that was that. Like, you're done. You didn't have Rage Powder on every single Pokemon. You didn't have Follow Me on every single Pokemon like you do nowadays. Now you have things like Electabuzz. You have things like Magmar. You have things like the Back in my day, Follow Me used to mean something. But, you know, it was rarer. (laughs) Now it's just not. You didn't have a mouse hold with it. Um, Did you also have Nuzzle on it back then? Yeah. Well, then there you have it, right? Like that mm-hmm. is the the big thing that makes Pachirisu good is if you need to redirect it, redirect something into it, then you can do that. And if you need to paralyze something, it's a, it's yeah, a Yeah, it had bot. Super Fang back then too. Sure. Yeah, it but can I do, do big think, damage. Like, yeah. I do think competitively speaking, I like Togedemaru and mm-hmm. how well it did in like Sun and Moon meta. It yeah. did well because it has Lightning Rod and it has Sturdy. And it would deal very nicely into like things that threaten a Kyogre, for example. Okay. So I, I looked up a list of uh, Pikachu clones. And uh, so I'll, I'll just say the list so you can reaffirm your, your, uh, your that, your answer. So we've got Pikachu itself, we've got Pichu. I wouldn't count those as Pikachu clones because one mm-hmm. is that and one <laughs> is baby. Uh, we've got Puzzle and Minin, which definitely are pikachu clones they're not the ones pikachu. though right definitely not <laughs> they're not him uh to uh what's his name pachirisu absolutely emolga um dedene toganamaru morpeko uh which i was okay. hoping would be good but it's a concept it was okay uh and some Wait, does would Palma say count some would say palma and some would say Mimikyu. But others I, would I didn't probably in, not I, say those things. I didn't include those in my original calculations. Because if I were to, Mimikyu would win. That That is probably the most competitive sure. one. And Palmot would probably also be in contention there. Because it's not bad. Especially now. So I'd say if you include Mimikyu. Which honestly I wouldn't fault you if you did or didn't. Well, no, because that would uh, that that would assume that two Pika clones came out in the same generation. Because Togedemaru is Gen Seven too. You can't have that's two allowed. Pika clones in the same. Plus, no, and Minin are the first ones that happened. Ah, 
different. <laughs> They're not even. Yep. No, it's not. <laughs> they were pushing double battles. <laughs> yeah. So they made a double Pikachu. They made a Tandem Mouse before Tandem Mouse came out. That's true. Is is Tandem Mouse <laughs> a Pikachu clone? Number five will <laughs> surprise you. <laughs> is Plusle and Minum just a Tandem Mouse? <laughs> <laughs> Just an electrically charged tandem mouse. <laughs> uh, which, oh, uh, Steven says, which unobtainable Dexited Pokemon, thank you for using the term, uh, would you like to use in Regulation H? Uh, Terra Water, Ficious Rend would be a war crime. Oh my God, yeah. Dracovish, man. Imagine. Right? I think a bigger war crime would be anything with terrestrialization plus. Um, Wonder Guard Shedinja is also a hate, like a, a terrible crime. Sure, sure. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to play against that. I would love to use it. It'd be funny. Well, this is probably like a big point towards they had Stellar in mind from the very beginning. Because like, mm-hmm. imagine a Stellar Shedinja. What would you do? Yeah. What do you do? You do nothing. That's that you set up sand. Mm-hmm. Then that's it. Yeah, Dracovish would be fun. Dracozalt would be fun. Um, Toka Kiss would be fun. We don't have that follow me user running around right, right now. Right. Or Parafluncher, uh, however you want to play it. Unobtainable Pokemon, because I'm not good with these kind of things. Uh, Alakazam is not in this game? Oh, yeah. I didn't re- realize that at all. That's interesting. Didn't remember. Yeah. Uh, Sharpedo is nothing... Uh, Rosary is nothing. <laughs> Sharpedo is nothing. <clears throat> um, what else we got? Do, 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 do. We've got Gigglyth. Gigglyth with uh, Terra would be oh, fun. Oh, yeah. We don't, oh, we only have one sand setter. I guess we have Hippowdon. Yeah. In this meta, that would be kind of interesting. Uh, Gorgeist would be, would be something. Xerneas and Evoltal, not in this game at all. God bless. The, they're probably just going to be in Legends, Zygarde, and Arceus. You know, and Wishy-Washy we'll isn't them. in this game, and it totally escaped my memory because Don Dozo has taken over. Don Dozo is fish. Wishy-Washy. Yeah. Nobody Big can fish. tell me that it's not. Uh, Wishy-Washy had to walk. Yeah. I'm going to say Mr. Rhyme. Same. Mr. Rhyme was there for a Mr. Time. Mr. Rhyme was there when we all needed him. And uh, now we still need him and he isn't there for us. So I <laughs> say goodbye, Mr. Rhyme. Bye bye, Miss American Rhyme. Is there Galarian Mime in this game at all? No. No. Like, what about Mr. Mime, period? No. Mr. Mime proper isn't here either. Because Galarian Mr. Mime, I remember with Eviolet, was actually decent for a little bit in Sword sure. and Shield, right? Sure. Setting up dual screens and stuff, being stupid tanky. Yeah. It had that weird ability. Well, I swear uh, it had a... Tangled feet or whatever. No, no, it had like an exclusive ability. Own tempo. Oh, uh, screen cleaner. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it was used because uh, there was Grim Snarls running around everywhere. So it would be like, hey, That's right. bye. That was Mr. Rhyme. Yeah, th- there was actually a purpose for this Pokemon at one point. <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> Ian, uh, Ian, I, I should only say first names just in case people don't want their docs to happen. Docs it? Uh Today's question. Who wrote your theme song? It goes super hard and I want to look into their stuff. That was M-Dash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, E M D A S C H E. Yes, say that again because I was talking over you. E M D A S C H E. Yeah, um, I don't think they've put out music in a little while, um, but when they were, it slapped. Uh, love, love, love M Dash's music. So we reached out to M Dash and we were like, "Hey, uh, we're putting together a podcast. Can you write a theme song for us?" and <laughs> M Dash was like, yeah, that that sounds great. Because back then, that wasn't a thing that people were asking M Dash to do. Uh, Casta says, "What Pokemon would you take to work every day, and why?" 
rectangle up because I could have unlimited lunch by eating its arms. <laughs> Did you know that if you <laughs> eat one of its arms, it's fine? <laughs> it regrows right away. Yeah, it's all good. It's chill. Uh, it's cool. Serious answer, though. Uh, yeah. You can't leave house without my cleft keys. Um, <laughs> what else? <laughs> Does it get more powerful the more keys you add to it? Absolutely. Uh, Th that's just control. like... Th those are your EVs is how, <laughs> how many right. keys you have. Is cleft key... Like, are there organs in the keys? And I'm going to say rings? yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, okay. You want to play another game today? <laughs> okay. Animal or oh, mineral? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which animal one is it? For clef clef key. <laughs> uh, I need to look at it. Hold on. I, I need to look <laughs> at an actual picture of a clef key here. Okay. So I think, uh, yes, I think all of uh, clef key's bodily functions do happen from the key ring. I do think that it just, uh, I think it collects keys jangly keys from people you see, you see when i when i look at the kalefki like sprite not yeah. sprite i you know like official art i would say mineral i'm like there's no way this thing bleeds but when right. you start looking at the anime photos like look at this oh photo, that thing bleeds yeah it's too happy not to bleed look, it, also it it like unhooks itself yeah it's, it's, it's totally sentient its yeah it knows what it's doing. It knows what it's doing. You can give Klefki additional keys because it just loops it around its arms. Mm -hmm. oh, that's interesting. I think I learned something today about Klefki. So yeah, Klefki is our answer. Thanks for yeah. asking the question. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I think I would take a Behem, actually. Okay. Very Why? analytical Pokemon would answer oh, just no. all the questions for me. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. In episode 221, uh, Alex used Splash, said, am I the first to leave a comment? No. Yes. You're the first to you Kevin splash says no, into the comment section. Yes. Oh, sorry, other way around. Kevin says yes, I say no. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Umbreon, yeah, that's true. Umbreon says Poke Lids has been a thing for a few years in Japan. They're also, uh, they are, they are also usually Poke Stops in Go, so you can collect that and save the postcards from them. So Poke Lids, uh, if you remember, was a is a thing in Japan where like they have Pokemon themed like sewer covers, and mm -hmm. they're basically attractions now. It's good. You know, that's I'm I'm glad that they're doing that. Big fan. Hope to see it one day. Right. Uh Parzival they're still says, there. Parzival says, you guys should do more Pokey Doku on the channel. It'll be interesting to listen to. I also spent a lot of time during this episode laughing. Oh, okay, great. Nice. It's the one yeah, game we didn't play. Did. Sorry. Yeah. Whoops. My bad. You think should we get in trouble for before? stealing a Poke Lid? Yes. Very much so. How I, much? I, Who I think would know? You could though? get arrested. Who would know? Um, like, what if I just replaced it with a regular lid? <laughs> yeah, it's Who just, no. It's not like it's it's an open. Sewer. All I'm saying, all yeah. I'm saying is, are. I just gotta go in some construction wear, have a have a yellow vest, yeah. put a hard hat on, make myself look official, have two other people with me also dressed up. Yep. Just replace the lid with a black one, and then, you know, just if anyone asks, what are you doing? Where uh, you just be like. Oh, they're upgrading this lid, but they have to put um, um, a temporary one down first. I think those lids are like a hundred pounds. Like, yeah, that's why I said I have two people with me. Hold on, how <laughs> heavy are manhole covers? Uh, wow, manhole covers are often made out of cast iron, concrete, or a combination of the two. This makes them inexpensive, strong, and heavy, usually weighing more than 113 kilograms or 250 pounds. Oh, I might need four people. I think you okay. might need a, a couple <laughs> more people. <laughs> Although that would be interesting. And it, it is fun to hear that, like, Google considers this inexpensive, strong, or inexpensive specifically, because, like, that just means that 
the Pokemon company did like the the bare minimum to make, <laughs> to make a, a, an attraction because it's like it's not like it cost them a lot. Do you think someone tried to steal it yet? One yes, of them? I do think. I that. think so too. Are they like actual manhole cover covers or no? Uh, let's see, Poke lids. Uh, it doesn't look looks like they are. Like maybe. Are they? Are they just stickers on top? Like to me, they look like somebody put a carpet on top of a manhole. But mm. I'm honestly not sure. There are a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot. That's why I'm like, there's there no way no hundreds. one's tried to steal any. Yeah. Wow. There. Are maybe. Quite maybe no one steals in Japan. That's just me being American about it. Yeah, I mean, there is the fact that like there are a lot of good people over there. So, yeah. Stealing Pokemon is sacrilege in Japan. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Well, I think that about wraps things up today. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Poke Sports. Uh, we will be getting back to more of the competitive discussions, uh, competitive talks. If you want to see or hear, something very specific to Pokemon in esports. Please do leave that as a comment either on Spotify or on YouTube because we do read those comments. Uh and you might influence an entire episode by your comments. So please go and do that. Uh if you want a bunch of other things to do, you can check us out on YouTube, youtubecom slash pokesports where we put out a different video every single day about a different uh Pokemon team also provided by you uh the uh community i we we really do appreciate the fact that you guys do that it keeps the channel going and we've been able to do a video every day for the past like x amount of years because of that so thank you uh kevin what uh do you have coming up i got a swana team There's no soundboard. Oh, I was waiting for a soundboard. No. <laughs> no, I, I was Swana just going to kind of let you stew in that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's Glow Up Pelipper, I guess, it's, is what we're calling it. <laughs> it's Pretty Pretty Pelipper. It's Pretty Pelipper. Yeah. Um, it does exactly what you think it does. That's all I'm going to say. There you go. Um. I would say tomorrow Kevin's going to be streaming, but by the time you hear this, uh, Kevin will have streamed. So sorry. <laughs> I hope you uh, caught that. And if you didn't, again, youtube.com slash pokesports is where that happened. Maybe you uh, should turn your notifications on. Mm. Uh-uh, get those notifications on. Anyway, I've been Mike. That's been Kevin. This has been Pokesports. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.